because I'm not sure about the performance. But the UI and the features, are... here comes the default launcher, which is of course this kind of same. But one thing, if you're able to notice, Telexir in other maybe around Evolution XOS, you have the same options available, but they're already present. But it's having some other. So we have another good custom room and kind of underrated so far because a lot of users were using this one but not right now. I'm talking about Dubfest OS which is based on Android 13 because I found a lot of users are actually not using this custom room. Why so I don't know but yes I tried this room after a long time and this room is I'm not going to talk about the performance to be honest because I'm not sure about the performance. But the UI and the features are absolutely amazing which are the features and how is the UI i'll talk about all those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end we'll talk about the latest version which is based on android 13 with the latest january security patch of 2023 here comes the default launcher which is of course just kind of same but one thing if you're able to notice it's having the launcher 3 kind of features but it's not having the same ui look because in launcher 3 we have different kind of options like in project elixir in other maybe around evolution xos you have the same options available but this is having Dubfest launcher which is having the same features but in a different UI basically it supports the hide apps option it's available here in this launcher so yes if you want to use this hide apps feature it's there for you to use very easily you can use these things if you want to we also have the themed icons options in app drawer if you want to you can use that thing too secondly it is having the light quick settings panel background if you're using light mode if you're using dark mode of course dark quick settings panel but if you're using light mode you will see the light quick settings panel alongside with that some extra tiles options like sleep mode preferred network tile is there these are some extra tiles options present which you can go and explore and it is having the general security patch so the media player is also the new one the latest one which is from google it also includes some different kind of animations if you're able to notice whenever i open and close anything from here any menu you can see the animations are a bit different how these are because this is the option available here what is this if you move on to the general settings you have the option for android p animation style as you can see if i would disable this option now the animations are fine but if you need something different because the default animations sometimes you want to change you can use this option if you want to it's actually quite interesting one and i'm not talking about this is not a feature it's just actually a customization thing if you love customizations go and explore it also includes this parallel space and i'm not saying that this is a unique feature it's available in almost every custom room but still it's there so i mean no feature is missing from here mostly every feature which you have in other custom rooms are already present but it's having some other options like this ui style this includes these ui style options um actually i i forget about this because i found this feature available in some other custom room too I'm not sure which of the one I was talking about, but this at least includes these options. Shishu themes, solarized, and we have unmonet. These are some options. These are some theming options, which is not available in every custom. It might be available in some of, but not every. So it's a good one too. But other than else, almost same features everywhere logo status bar lyrics bluetooth battery status on status bar if you want to take a look at quick settings is also having some of the customizations related to height labels and a vertical layout if you want to take a look at you can customize these options if you want to the squiggle animation this is a very underrated feature if you don't want to use that new media player from android 13 you can simply turn off this option and you will be able to explore the different kind of ui with quick with media player this is good in security section we have uh, this panic trigger option we have face lock fingerprint app lock high depth feature is already present in the default launcher so that's good gestures also having some advanced options for you let me show you if i move on to these navigation gestures you are able to notice the gesture bar hide option even you can customize the gesture bar length and radius not every custom rooms not every custom room is giving you this feature so that's good too you can hide the gesture bar if you want to and yes these are some great options which are present 
these are the options which you have available in the os and it's a very good kind of custom room which is having aosp kind of feel but includes some pixel apps too so that's something really different one if you want to take a look at the link is available in the description this was all from today's short and simple video i hope you like this thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel goodbye